Okay, so Raspberry Pi OS comes with VNC built in. Uh, this is a remote desktop app which can be used remotely or locally. Now up until now I've used it locally only uh, because I thought you had to pay for it. Let's just switch into screen capture on my Mac. So you can see here on the main page, try VNC Connect today for free. Start a 14 day free trial. Um, but it also if I scroll down a bit and click on pricing, the only two options that come up are VNC Connect $249 a month and instant support $11.99 a month. So this is why I've avoided it for a while, only because I didn't want to have to pay for a remote desktop, so I was using XRDP, which was free, and free remotely. But uh, all you have to do is just click on sign in, pop in an email address, fill in all the details it asks for, and uh, tick to say that you're over the age of 16 and you've read the terms and conditions, and hit sign up. So they'll send you a verification email, so I need to check that and click on the email, verify your email address from real VNC, and verify email. Thank you, you now have full access to your account. And if we scroll down, you can see three options, and one of them is the free one. So these other two will start you on a 14 day free trial. I would imagine you probably have to give card details, uh, but this says easy to use remote access, for friends and family for non-commercial use only, limited to five remote computers and three users. Cloud only. So let's hit activate. And it gives you all the details. So effectively, uh, you've got to install VNC server on any remote computer. As I say, Raspberry Pi OS has it built in uh, and you just have to enable it in Raspi config. And then you have to download the viewer software on whatever computer you're using for that. So if we go back to this and download and viewer. I'm on Mac OS, download VNC viewer and allow. So I'll be down here in this downloads folder. So let's install that and let's launch it. And if we go to the sign in bit here, and you need to sign in with the information you've had before. So all of the others on here are local, apart from this one, CrowPi Laptop. That's what you saw at the start of the video, uh, which has VNC server already installed and set up and ready to go. So if I double click on that, pop the username and password in for the remote Pi and hit OK, I'm up and running. So this is remotely controlling my CrowPi laptop. Now it's actually right next to it at the moment, but I could be remotely controlling it from anywhere in the world. So if I want to say close this down, uh, launch some other apps, you can see that it's actually pretty responsive. And the viewer software works on loads of other devices as well. Here it is on my iPad. So again, I can just tap on it to log in, pop your password in and hit continue. And you can see I'm up and running. Uh, I can zoom out to make it that it fits the screen, but also it quite nicely moves around when you move around with the mouse pointer. Uh, so if you need to see something in close up detail, then you can, but also you can zoom out to see the whole of the desktop. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.